Oh, hey guys. Um, what do you call a pig that likes to do karate? I'll give you a minute. It's funny. A pork chop. Alright, now, down to some business. The point of this video is to actually show you um, an additional website that I made. So, again, I'm just going to jump into the my trial class here, 7C. So, this is how all of you can access my own personal like social studies website um, now if you go to classwork okay everything's gonna look normal if you go down you'll see another topic it says mr. bricks website if you go to the left you'll see it mr. bricks website so what I want you to do is to check here every single week when you work on your assignments because there's going to be other information there I'm gonna give you links of to websites that you can read about whatever the topic is on your own just to give you some background knowledge um, there's some videos I'm going to post that again will help you get an understanding of what this topic is about. Um, and then I'm going to also record my own PowerPoint. So if you guys want to just go right to that, um, and I'll try to make it as, you know, close to actual class time, then I can. So all those PowerPoints that we do in my class, I'll try to just replicate that. So click on the website and it's going to bring you to something like this. Um, it says Brick Social Studies class right here um, where my cursor is. That's where this video is going to be. Um, if you look to the right, obviously I got some pictures of myself because, you know, people need to know who Mr. Brick is. Um, this one was at, uh, in Washington, D.C. outside the Lincoln Memorial. This is a Getty, Gettysburg sword. Um, this is me enjoying the decade of the 70s. Um, this is, you know, my volleyball championship. I felt like I had to throw that up there because, you know, you guys need to see that I can win about, uh, sports too. So and the last one um, is the picture I took on the last day. I really do miss you guys. So the way it works is it looks I basically broke it up in the seventh grade and eighth grade. All of the topics just from here on out um, will be up here. So everything we've done before in the school year, I'm not adding to this website. Um, for those of you that will end up having me next year in eighth grade, it's I'm going to end up changing this so everything's on here. So I can start using this resource as something um, that you guys have access to every day. But for what's going on, I broke it up into two, two different types of content. And then I have a section for links. You click on links. Okay, hopefully you like my link pun in the background because that's the link from the game Zelda. I have all of the different websites I use. You guys know I love iPuzzle, Achieve 3000, um, you have to click on it, Google Classroom. Um, you guys know how to get on that by now, obviously, but there's links to all of this stuff that I use. And anything else that I like to use, I'm going to throw in this section. Um, for seventh grade, we'll start there. Okay, your first thing is the Erie Canal. So when you click on it, I gave you the assignments I want you to do, and this is going to update for the next couple. I'm going to change what's on there. Um, I want to add a couple of Chief articles, um, so that way each section has one. Um, and I'm probably going to add a short quiz for each one too. So just be prepared to check it every day. But if you look down here, History Channel, um, then I have the Erie Canal song. It's a very famous song, and I was hoping to play it for you guys, but there it is. I hope you guys can watch it and listen to it. Um, the next section is the Indian Removal Act, and same thing, I have different videos for you to watch um, and just different sources to read just to get a background like knowledge of what the Indian Removal Acts are. Same with the abolition movement, um, right here, a couple things to read, you can click right on the links, it'll pop you to a website, you can read all about it. And again, for each section, I'm telling you the assignments you have to do, um, and then you can learn more about it below. And then the last one I have up right now, there will be more, um, is Dred Scott. This was a famous court case decision, and I want you guys to read about it. So I have two documents right here you guys can read. You need some background knowledge on. Then there's this PBS uh, video. It's actually a website, but there's a video to it. And I also put the video right here. So make sure you look to see what assignments you have to do. It's on Google Classroom too, but this is just an added resource. Now for my 8th graders, it's the same. You go to 8th grade content, click on the decade of change, uh, 1920s, this is what you're learning about right now. Um, you got the roaring 20s. Um, I got two different things you can click to read about it and a video on it. Um, so again, this will help you understand more. The ad puzzles I like to grade, so as much as they are informational, I do want you guys to actually be re-watching them and getting the content because that's the content that matches the standard, which is what you need to know. Um, the green book, 
I really wanted to show you guys this movie. It's a good movie. Uh, but this is give you all the information you need on this. It was basically a traveling guide for African Americans. Um, and it, it's just, it's very powerful um, what the purpose was of it. Um, and these little videos right here will kind of give you more of an idea. Um, the next is on the Great Depression. This is probably one of the best uh, topics to actually study. Um, and it's kind of can relate to what's going on right now. Um, if you guys pay attention to the stocks in the stock market right now. Uh, but in 1929, the stock market crashed, which led to the Great Depression. And these are all different resources for you to read and watch to get more information on it. Um, and all of these resources and all this information, this goes for my seventh graders too. This is all stuff I'm going to be using when I give you a quiz. Now, obviously it's gonna be an open book quiz. It's online. I can't go to your house and make you watch, you know, make you do the quiz without looking things up. But I want you to be able to use these resources and find the answers for them, including my PowerPoints. Um, and then the last thing for my eighth graders is really the dust, the dust bowl. Um, this was, I titled it government and economy because I kind of linked the two with the dust bowl. Um, so just don't get confused on that. Um, but if you have any questions, that's everything in my website right now. I'm going to keep updating it. And this is just a quick tutorial about what it is and why it's there. All right, guys. Thank you.